Hi everyone, welcome back. Today I just want to do a quick little first impressions video on a bag that I recently purchased and it's this cute bag right here which is the Ray Tote in the color 1941 Saddle with Brass Hardware from Coach. And I've had this bag now for about two weeks so I just want to highlight some details in it and show you some up close um, features as well. So if you're interested in today's video over this bag, please do stay tuned. And just for full disclosure, I do currently work for Coach as a sales associate. However, all the bags on my channel are from my own personal collection. And I'm just here to share with you guys a personal love for handbags. And if you do like these kind of videos, please do consider liking and subscribing. And you can also follow me on Instagram as well for more handbag related content. So here's a look at the Ray Tote, and as you can see, it is a pretty simple handbag. It is made from a gloved hand leather, so it has a very smooth finish to the bag. And it also features these luggage handles as well, which is a, a very iconic feature for the brand in styles like the Rebel, the Rogue, and like the Rogue Top handles. So it has these very structured handles on top. And overall, I would say the bag is very minimal in its design. There's really not a lot of bells or whistles to it other than the handle construction here. And there's no outside pockets as well. So as you can see, there is no um, additional features on the outside or the sides of the bag other than these little rivets here that I will mention in a minute. A very interesting feature about the Ray Tote is actually how these handles are constructed. So they are attached onto these little D-rings here, but as you can see there is a cutout in the middle. So when the handles do lay down, they create kind of this like scooping section here in the middle, which is really cool and actually fairly comfortable to carry um, when you do use the shoulder straps, but I think it's a really interesting design how Coach did this kind of like cut out here on the Ray Tote and that when the handles set down it you know makes that little scooping look and then again you can also put the handles onto the interior of the bag as well because they do rotate so here's what the handles look like on the inside and you also do get a little hang tag as well that has the horse and carriage logo on the front there and then it's going to be blank on the back so you definitely monogram it. On the bottom of the bag, it does have a structured leather base and it does feature fork feet on the bottom as well. In addition, in the center here, it says genuine gloved handed leather and the gold foil matches the hardware of the bag. So like I mentioned earlier, there are these little brass rings here on the front of the bag and that's for the D rings that are located on the inside and it's where the shoulder straps attachments are going to be located. So you do get two extra shoulder straps with the Ray Tote and as you can see when you are using your shoulder straps, these handles do fold down really nicely into the bag like so and they are going to be in a matching dark brown leather to the top handles and they are going to have these little clips here so you are able to remove them as as well but when you're not using the shoulder straps you can easily just drop them into the bag like so for a fairly seamless look and then whenever you need to you know use the top handles you can just do that and then the handles are there and the shoulder straps are hidden so that's a pretty cool, cool feature about the bag too in addition you also get a cute little leather pouch as well and this little pouch here is going to be the same color as the bag so because the bag is 1941 saddle the pouch is also going to be 1941 saddle there is a cute little patch here on the front and that is the story patch to the bag with the style number on it and it does have a zip top closure here like so and it's lined with fabric on the inside and then you also have a little clip here on the back so if you did want to use it as a little wristlet you totally can by attaching it onto the d-ring that the little pouch has or you can clip it onto the inside of the bag with the four d-rings located on the inside so on the inside of the Ray Tote, as you can see, it is one large open spacious compartment and it is going to be lined in suede as well. So it's a really soft feel on the hand and it also is in a fairly bright marigold yellow color with two slip pockets and a little leather trim on top. And that's basically it for the bag other than, um, you know, having the little extra rings on the inside. And what's really cool is that there is a little leather tab here with the horse and carriage logo, uh, which is basically the little tag that says where the bag is made from, which I think is really cool that's leather. And it's just right there and it has a little um, gold foil stamp with the horse and carriage on it. And yeah, that's basically it. Super duper simple. And you also get a little 1941 stamp as well on the back here, like so, on the handle. 
So now I'm going to do some quick little handbag comparisons with other styles in my collection. And the first one is going to be the Ray Tote with the Rogue Tote. And as you can see, they are pretty, like, relatively the same size bag. The only difference here is that the Ray Tote is going to be a little bit more structured versus the Rogue Tote. Um, they both will come with a pouch. I, for some reason, don't know where the pouch to this bag is, but it does come with one. And the thing here, too, you'll notice is that the structure of the Rogue Tote is a lot more relaxed in comparison to the Ray Tote. And that this bag here does have a little dog clip closure on the top to at least close the bag. In comparison, this bag here does not have any kind of closure at all. It is very spacious and open. The second comparison I want to do is going to be with the Reese Tote. And as you can see, the Reese Tote is definitely a lot larger than the Ray Tote um, because it does have the expandable sides. This bag does get pretty big. And in addition, the Ray Tote, or I should say the Reese Tote, they sound so much alike, I was going to get them like fixed up. But the Reese Tote here does not um, have a pouch. It does have a attached zip pocket and the Reese Tote also has a magnetic closure as well. It's pretty strong in comparison to the Ray Tote that has like the leather pouch but it doesn't have the closure. Um, so there is a quick comparison of those two bags. So my first impressions of the Ray Tote is that I really like this bag a lot and I think for me what I've been really enjoying about this bag is the fact that it is such a large handbag. Um, I typically don't use tote bags and for me I usually use like a smaller bag so something like the Rogue 25, the Studio Shoulder Bag, the Tabby Bags, the Cast 19, like those are bags I typically use on a daily basis and sometimes I always forget that those size proportioned handbags do come with space constraints and you know moving to like larger handbags like this Ray Tote here or even like the Tabby Messenger 40 you know that frees up a lot of available space that I can use so it's nice to always be able to like increase the size of your SLGs like I've been using a full zip wallet or even like a medium compact wallet which has been really nice and even carrying things like my laptop or you know like my notebook and other miscellaneous stuff not in a secondary bag but in like one entire bag so that's been really nice and I feel like this tote bag is really luxe too. I've had so many compliments when I'm carrying this bag, um, just casually thrown on the chair next to me at a restaurant or just like hanging. And I've had a couple compliments even like that too. So like, wow, is this tote really fancy? Um, so yeah, I've been just really enjoying it. And it's been making me kind of like fall back in love with really big handbags. Like for me, this bag is really big. So yeah, I've been just really happy using this bag. Some other things too I really like about the Ray Tote is the fact that this bag is very simple and to the point, yet still very interesting at the same time. Um, the bag itself is very, you know, to the point with the gloved hand leather here. Like there's no additional bells or whistles to the bag. There's no outside pockets to break up the design of the bag. Um, but I love the handle construction, how there is that um kind of like circular detail here in the middle and then when the handles do fold down it creates that little bit of a cutout which i think is really cool i also love the functionality with the additional shoulder straps as well i think it's really great um i can see people wanting this bag to also have a crossbody strap but by the time a bag gets this big and there's no like d-rings here on the side for a crossbody and when you're carrying it this way it's going to get warped and it's just not going to be very functional so i do understand why coach did not put a crossbody strap on this bag and only comes with the shoulder straps which i'm perfectly fine with um and i also love the addition of the pouch too i think this is such a great piece in any larger tote bags i wish the field tote 40s would instead of having that zip pocket would have this little pouch instead return back to that like design I guess I don't know what I'm trying to say here but I wish like those bags would have the pouch again versus having the zipper pocket there we go I just love these things so much and they're always really handy like when you don't want to carry your larger tote bag and you just want to carry the pouch it's always nice to have this piece here for your phone you know your wallet or other items too so that's really nice 
Some things to know about the Ray Tote as well is that number one it is going to be a very open tote bag. So if you are somebody who wants a closure or a clasp of some kind to close the bag, it's not going to have that. Um, and as you can see how I have in today's video, it's typically how you find this bag to be when I set it down somewhere. It is very open. It will be very obvious that your items are in plain view. So if you did want some kind of protection or coverage for your products or your items, I would say get a organizer with a zip top closure. That would be a great solution for this bag. And in addition, it also will protect the suede lining as well. Personally, for me, I don't really care about that. I just kind of let life live. Um, so right now I don't have any protective covering or spray on the suede. So it's just going to be how it is. And so far so good. There's no marks or stains on it. Um, in addition, you, like I mentioned, you do get a little pouch too, but again, this pouch is only so big. It um, is best, I feel like, for your phone, a small wallet, and keys, which is what I use this mainly for. Um, but yeah, other than that, those are some things to note about the Ray Tote. So that's it for today's video over the Ray Tote. Um, if you did have any more questions about this bag, just leave a comment down below and I can try to help you out. Or you can also message me on Instagram as well and I can help you out that way. Um, I also am planning on doing a couple more videos about this bag after I used it a little more and also a first impressions on the Reese Tote as well. So if you did like this video, please do consider liking and subscribing. And you can also follow me on Instagram too for more handbag related content. Um, but other than that, guys, have a great rest of your day. Bye!